Well, hello, Internet. It's me again. I'm back with another recipe for you. We appreciate you following along here with our recipes. Uh, today, we're going to make an exotic banana cream tiger pie. All right. Uh, oh, now, if you joined us earlier in the week, you may have seen that we did a strawberry pie. It was a strawberry pie, Evil Knievel style, and it looked beautiful, but I gotta tell you, that was one of the biggest goddamn pieces of shit pie I think I ever tasted in my life, and I'm not a big fan of pie anyway, if you know what I'm saying. All right, so, what you need to do for your exotic banana cream tiger pie, first of all, let me tell you where the recipe came from, all right? This here is a, a family recipe, secret recipe, handed down from generation to generation, all right? Now, it wasn't my generation, I found it in a Bible, that I bought at a garage sale in Winniewood for 25 cents. It was uh, gently nestled between the pages of the good book of Luke. All right, so I wanna go ahead and share this recipe with you. With the, I want you to put it on the internet. I want you to share it with your family. I want you to share it with your friends. I want you to take it down to the Walmart store and put it up on the bulletin board. I want you to take it to the, the Red Hat Society ladies at your local church with the late night benediction. I want you to share this recipe with your family. I want you want to share this recipe with your friends. But I do not want you to share this recipe with that goddamn Mitch Carroll basket. Uh, first thing you're going to need is uh, check out your ingredients. All right, check out all your stuff. You're going to need one of these graham cracker, cracker ass Pie crust, all right? Uh, here in Oklahoma, you know we got different degrees of crackers, and this hair is a, uh, one of them there, graham cracker, banana cream pie puss crust. Put this right over here, you got that? All right. You're gonna need a, a banana, uh, and uh, I don't know where y'all shop, but uh, where I shop, uh, some of these come in rubber and latex, and you definitely wanna make sure that you get a real banana, otherwise this is gonna taste like something that you probably ain't never tasted before. You're gonna need your whipped topping. Had no idea there was any use for this outside of the bedroom. You're gonna need a rubber spatula. You wanna get a rubber spatula to stir everything up, all right? And I tell, I tell you right now, there is nothing that's gonna stir shit up more than this here goddamn rubber spatula. All right, you're gonna need a walkie-talkie to keep your people in line. I don't care who you hire, I don't care who you have, your goddamn people are gonna be out of control. You need one of these here uh, uh, glass mixing cups. You need one of the head. This is why I use to feed the baby tiger cubs. You're gonna need uh, you're gonna need a knife. You're gonna need a big knife because you are gonna cut the shit out of that banana. I tell you, I don't even know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sit this down right here before I pass out. You're gonna need a gallon of milk. Get a big old jug of milk from your local uh, Walmart store. Now some of y'all ain't got tigers. So you ain't gonna use the tiger milk straight out of the tiger. Now, I've done that in the past, and I tell you, if you can stand that goddamn shit, it's good, all right? Uh, I tell you, the tigers are not very fond of the, uh, the methods, the way I, I, I distract the milk from them, which is straight from the teeth of the, of the mother. All right, you're also gonna need this right here. This is the banana shake pie filling, all right? I'm gonna tell you, this stuff right here is very powerful. It's made from a concentrate, all right? And this stuff here, if you got primates, you got monkeys on your property, they will kill you for this. They will stick a knife in your neck for this stuff right here. So you're gonna wanna lock this up. And for whatever reason, if you have trained a monkey to fight with a knife, I suggest just letting this have, letting them have this, and you just go right back down to the Walmart store and you buy another one. All right, I think we got everything ready here to make our uh, exotic banana cream. Tiger pie, you take the lid off, you get your pie crust right there. You want to take your uh, genuine banana, make sure, again, make sure this thing is not rubber or latex. You'll be able to tell uh, from the texture of it. And uh, you just go ahead. I did wash my hands for 20 seconds this time, so uh, that uh, goddamn Carol Baskin friend of mine won't yell at me for not washing my hands. You take this knife right here, all right? You get this knife, and you get this banana. You take this knife, and you cut the shit out of that goddamn banana. All right, you take this knife right here and you just take that and you just, you sharp, it's sharp and you just, you, you, you take it and you, Lord, Lord, where the hell am I? Oh, we're cutting up a banana. That's where we're at right now. You take this knife, you cut up this banana and cut it up in, in nice uh, even slices right here. You can think about plenty of things that you want to think about while you're cutting this banana up. Uh, you can think about 
uh, uh, silver dollars. They kind of look a little like silver dollars. I tell you right now, the real crime, the real crime is whoever's cutting hair in Winniewood. I tell you that right now. You also need this bowl. Speaking of cutting hair, this bowl here is what you're going to mix all your shit up with your rubber spatula. You want to stir your shit up with this right here, you want to put it in this. Not only does this work great for making exotic banana cream tiger pie, it's also great for making haircuts. I've gotten to the point where I started cutting my own goddamn hair. I just can't take it anymore. You put it over here, trim around the bangs, leave it in long in the back. If you like to party in the back, we got that good. So you cut your silver dollars on your bananas like this. And like I said, you can think about anything and everything. You can look back on the decisions that you've made in your life. You can look at where you want to be in your life. You can look at where you want to go in your life. Look at if you ever wanted to travel uh, with your knife. Uh, if you just would get in the car or go down to Florida, take your knife with you, do a little traveling and thinking and cutting and slicing and chopping. And uh, listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you again, I want you to share this recipe. I want you to share this here recipe with all your friends. Well, your family, I do not want that goddamn bitch Carol Baskin to have his hair recipe. She had got her own Tiger Pie recipe. You trust me on that. That girl right there, she had got her own Tiger Pie recipe. This is non-GMO, and this is one of them non-meat exotic Tiger Cream Pies. I'm just going to cut this up here and think a little bit more about that. But you, you think about whatever y'all want, and uh, you get your bananas all cut up real nice. Get them all cut up real neat. You can stab at them if you want. You need to poke them. You need to twist that knife around a little bit. You stab it. It's a stab. Knives are good. They're stabby. Stabby. Stabby knives. All right. Now, get your kid. Got your goddamn pie crush. Get your goddamn bananas in there like that. Again, this here stuff is monkey crap. You got a monkey coming at you in the middle of the night, let him have it. Just let him go at it. Take what he wants. You don't fight. Do not fight with monkeys when it comes to monkey crack like this right here. I'm telling you now. You just, you know, there is nothing crazier than a goddamn monkey with a knife. Except for that bitch Carol Baskin. I, man, I tell you what on that. All right, you just empty that out here. You put it in, in the haircut bowl like that. All right, you ain't got no tiger milk. You put your regular milk in there. Get one of these here uh, Dixie cups and you fill that some bitch up. Fill that all the way up. I don't care if it's rolling over the top. You just fill that up. All right, you get that good in there. Now, there ain't nothing like tiger milk, but this, uh, this here Walmart stuff, this stuff will do good. You know, we usually uh, wait till Walmart brings a truck over to the house after, uh, you know, you take a take a gallon of milk out of the refrigerator right there and decide that you don't want it, you take it up to the counter and you just goddamn leave it there. Walmart can't put it back, right? They just put it on a truck and they bring it out. All right, you mix all that stuff. Where, you mix, where the, what do I do with my spatula? Where my spatula? Anybody seen my goddamn spatula? Hey, anybody seen my goddamn spatula? Anybody seen Carol Baskin on it? The big goddamn bitch Carol Baskin. Oh, 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 here it is right here. All right, got a spatula. You just stir that up right there, right? You get on that. Now, you take your whip topping. Who would have, like I said, ever known that there was a use for this outside the bedroom? A couple of cups of that deal right there. Pour that in there. And get that thing all in there. You want to go ahead and clean this, clean this dilly-dally out. You want to get it all cleaned out. This whole thing, hope y'all doing good. Hope y'all having a good day today. Hope y'all having a, a good uh, recess and school's out and all that kind of stuff. Here we go. Anybody, uh, you know, you got a little time at home, you want to cut the grass, go outside, uh, watch some TV. Heard there's some good stuff on Netflix. Y'all want to, y'all like uh, watching some Netflix. We got a, got a whole selection of stuff. Here you go. You got your stuff in, you mix it all up. Mix that all up. All right, this is going to be a whole lot better than that goddamn evil can evil pie, I tell you. Man, I'll tell you right there. I'll take that stuff to the cow, cow palace and dump it off in a crashing, burning pile of mess. You just get your rubber spatula out here. You mix that up real good. Now, I'm going to have to go ahead and freeze this, right? You know, I ain't going to just pop it in here and be done with it. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. It's going to have to cool down a little bit, all right? I'm going to write me a couple songs about it. Exotic, tiger, exotic, exotic banana cream tiger pie. You can find that online. A lot of stuff going around the internet. These memes out there, pretty funny stuff. Good stuff on there. I don't know if you guys seen any of that stuff right there, but it's good stuff to look at, keep you entertained. All right, now you get this all whipped up here, right? And you're going to get you a right. Now, this one's going to be a recipe. You're going to be, y'all tr tried that Evil Knievel thing. Let them work out for you. I understand. That's just a, that was just a big old pile of crap. That just didn't goddamn work for nothing. All right, so now you got your bananas. You got your bananas in your cracker ass, cracker pie crust. You got your banana ass uh, monkey crack here mixed up with that tiger milk. You go ahead and just whip it up. I'm, you know, I'm going to have to go get me a whisk. I'll be right back. Let me get a whisk because that thing ain't looking good. It's got a bunch of lumps in it.
It's got a whole bunch of lumps in it. That thing is lumpier than that goddamn Carol Baskin's head, I'll tell you that right there. Well, maybe not. Let me go ahead and whisk this thing up a little bit. That damn son of a bitch. Get this thing all whipped up and get you going down the road to go. Here you go. Now, you take it and pour it in your pie dilly dally right there. Fill that thing all the way up to the top. You don't be skimpy on that. You don't... You gon' this is like free meat from Walmart right here. You take every little bit of it, you pour it on in there. Alright, you good? That evil can eagle pie, that shit right there, you get it all over your kitchen, mess your hair up. Alright, I'm gonna hold this up here now. This is what it looks like. I ain't completely finished. You gotta put it in a freezer, alright? You gotta freeze it. Just like a hold on here, let me uh it's just like some meat. You got some meat, you wanna freeze it, unless of course you're gonna use it fresh. You got a body, I mean uh, some meat that you're gonna put through a grinder and bury underneath your septic tank, whatever you're gonna do with it. You wanna, you don't wanna freeze that, you wanna keep that good and fresh, keep that real mean. All right, so I'm gonna take this pie now, I'm gonna put this in here in the freezer. When we get it done with the freezer, I ain't gonna do it right now, get it done with the freezer. I appreciate y'all watching, by the way. Going to put this tiger on top of it. This is the tiger part of the exotic banana uh, cream tiger pie, all right? Now, some of you like ligers, all right? You take this line, you put it right next to the tiger, on top of the pie, you got a liger pie. Hey, very easy. It's a simple recipe. Anybody can follow it. I thank you all for watching the TV show, Free Joe Exotic. And I uh, want you all to have a great day. I want you to take this pie right here, share it with your family, share it with your friends, and just enjoy it. And uh, I don't want any of you all to choke on this pie unless you're that goddamn bitch Carol Baskin. You understand me? All right, you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. I love you.